Now, the thing about your character is he uh, he's he's a very brash guy. He's got the what I call the traditional Australian sort of spirit, hasn't he? That we mm. like to think of mm. ourselves as on the screen. He's a get up and go guy. Mm. Right. Well, he's he's a bit uh, sly. Yeah. Uh, he's kind of underhanded at times, but. Yeah. Uh, Good underneath, I hope. Yeah, but even, I, even so, very innocent. I think that was yeah. an interesting thing. Yeah. I mean, that character today is far more complicated. Although he puts on a front of being very tough and yeah. very knowing. Once you see him in Egypt, I mean, he knows practically nothing. Yeah. Well, it, it is interesting that uh, the, the innocence is, I think, the thing that for, with young audiences is going to come really out because they're going to look at it and think, gosh, those guys were naive. But they mm. were in a nice sort of way, weren't they? Yeah, I think it was pretty sort of normal naive. And I think. Well, anyone at a certain age is yeah. now. I mean, you've got naivety. It's just the age has lowered. <laughs> That's knowing. right, because television and everything, everyone knows about everything. Uh, tell us about Snowy. <laughs> well, thank well, you for that. <laughs> yeah. well, Snowy was, he, he was naive, but I mean, he was like all of them. It was just, you know, it had nothing to do with anything apart from, you know, like they're bashing up your mate in the next playground. <laughs> you know, what? Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's, that's about the naivety the extent of it. I mean, all of them. You yeah. know, but that's I the one thing all the characters have in common. They're all going for some version of that reason. You know, like mine was just strictly that reason. What? Oh, sure, <laughs> give me a gun. Yeah, you right. know, no idea, no idea. <laughs> His was sort of hoist up in action. You know, not get up and go, but sort of a bit more... Once he was pushed, Try and like, stay in the background. <laughs> but Snow is a character, I think, that you, you will, would not find in Australia today because mingled into this sort of... Um, simple brash type was uh, a, a very deeply religious boy i think that was the skill in david's writing yeah, yeah. in the way he played it that it yeah. brought out that that he was uh, uh, had a very very strict moral code that he thought the other boys should obey when they were particularly in egypt <laughs> they did. Yeah. what's that like from a physical point of view now that film i mean <laughs> yeah, you're in the water and you're running around a hell of a lot and all that oh physically oh. well we had a long time to prepare for it and get fit there was yeah. exercises and running and eating the right things and getting some weight off so i could look like an athlete i was kind of porky before that kind of porky now <laughs> <laughs> oh i'll swap you <laughs> you want to know what porky is <laughs> but uh, it really was a, a training session to get into it oh, all. It's interesting that almost every time I was required to run, I either had a virus or I'd eaten something in Egypt and it was uh, not agreeing with me at all, so that it was kind of embarrassing having to take a shower after every second take. <laughs> uh, well, the, the sweat in your forehead looked the real thing, and obviously was. <laughs> Peter and, and Mel and David, thank you for joining us today, and uh, terrific luck with the film.